Hey everyone, this is Antonio at Raw Shorts, and in this demo, what I'm going to do is show you how the timeline works. So once you launch the builder, this is what you're going to be seeing. Um, by default, every slide over here is five seconds, but what you can do is you can actually increase the length of time by hitting on the plus sign or the minus sign. It will not, however, let you go below two seconds. So once we have an object on the stage, right, let's take one of our icons, for instance, hotel sign. By default, it'll place it at the beginning, okay? If you, if you select it, you'll see this here represents this particular icon, okay? If we add another object, such as this one, now we have two icons over here. This one, when selected, represents this icon, and this one, when selected, represents that icon. You, you can click and drag, and as you see, once we pass this bar over here, everything disappears off the stage. And the reason for that is because this is where this one particular object ceases to exist on the stage. But we can, however, by clicking and dragging or tapping and dragging, extend the amount of time that it is on the stage. So as you can see, if we tap and drag now, the icon on the left has disappeared, but the passport icon remains because the length of time has been increased. If we go back, you can see how the hotel sign shows up again. If we tap on this icon over here, see, you can see how the hotel sign stops right there. So if we tap and drag past that point, we will no longer see it, okay? You can also tap or click and drag on this item if you want to change its position in time. Okay, you can do that, and then once again, select the edges to increase the time or decrease it. So, now you can see how that plays out. The last item I'd like to show you is this icon over here. What this does is, it allows you to add a transition, both in and out for each object. So if you want it to pop on, or fade in, or slide in, you can select one of those items. So let's say we want it to slide in. Right? And we are going to have it pop out. Okay? Apply there. Let's get rid of this one so we don't. So we are only focusing on one object. If you hit play over here, you can see how it transitions in and then transitions out. Mm -hmm. 